All right, people. So right now I'm driving and I have my phone on my lap and I'm gonna find a parking spot, a good one to um, rest at too, where I can um, sleep and devour this pizza. But um, I wanted to just tell a little story while I'm driving. So right now I have a pizza and the pizza, I'm not gonna name the name of the place. I don't know, I just don't wanna give away my location, but um, Oh, headlights on. I um, I initially went to a pizza company named Domino's. Domino's Pizza. And it wasn't um, very far from this place I um, resorted to. So the reason why I didn't get Domino's today is because when I went inside the... Um, I went inside and I was there last... Um, I think I was there Saturday. Service was rather well service was good and um i had this maybe white or possibly white and hispanic or asian serve me and um you know he uh he was a pretty good you know server he gave me my food he cut me a deal i was supposed to initially spend almost twenty dollars on one large piece but he wound up uh giving me a deal for nine dollars so i go back today and the guy that's in the back cooking like the pizza he's working the register or something like that and i'll explain um i'll go more detail and later in the video so um i see him and the first thing i i i i, I just he says he said yo i'll be right with you bro and that's how he sounds he's like i'll be right with you bro and i'm like all right I'm just like going to wait because they were like pretty busy. They were like, I heard like the phone ring and they were doing like a lot of orders. So I was like, all right, I'll give them a, a couple minutes to, you know, get caught up with everything. And then he just like, he was like, uh, yo, didn't I see you somewhere before? I, I think I saw you. Uh, you was here before, right? I remember people's faces, man. I remember that all the time. I, I remember you from Saturday, right? I was like, yeah, I was here Saturday. So I'm like, um, how much is for a small barbecue cheese pizza? No chicken. And he was like, uh, yo, I'll, I'll, I'll find out. Uh, I'll, I'll see uh, what what the price is for you in a second, man. And I'm like, all right. So I just wait. I wait a couple minutes. And, you know, they're, they're obviously, like, caught up with... Uh, they're, they're obviously, like, behind on orders. They're, like, it's a lot of people. So, um, you know, I just feel like this. When you're serving people, because I don't work in customer service anymore, you need to talk and you need to conduct yourself in a way where you don't sound like you just woke up from a coma. This guy um, literally epitomizes why black people get treated the way they do. Now, on my old channel, I have a video explaining this, the one that I'm, I, I don't have access to. I say that racism doesn't exist. It's not because of uh white supremacy it's because of behavior is why blacks get treated the way they do and this guy is a prime example he epitomizes why black people get treated the way they do and it's not that i'm trying to you know gain sympathy from anybody else like saying that oh because this one guy this is why we get grouped in it's not just this one guy it's a it's like a almost a collective this is he basically represents 97 to 98 percent of black men in america tattoos on his arms a big scar on his under his eye can't speak proper english probably works that job because that's all he can probably do and this is sort of why i'm going to um learn how to cook because fast food if you haven't noticed is dominated by black people why is that because this is the one job that doesn't require much skills or school or training. All you have to do is just push push buttons on a on like a touchpad, and if you can cook, because people do that in jail. That's um that's basically you know it's not comprised of much skills, but um yeah this guy like I wind up just walking out. I just said hey what time you guys close? And I'm like, oh, we closed at 12. And I just said, ah, ah. I was like, okay. And I just, I just left. 
because obviously I was like, um, he is used to, I guess, dealing with people in that manner. And um, this is why, like I said, blacks are treated the way they are because of the behavior and just the the lack of just respect blacks have for each like blacks have for other people now i wound up going to this other place that was a uh you know a family owned you know small pizza area and um i wound up spending a little bit more than i anticipated but you know they made the pizza it smells good i'm gonna try it out you know pizza's pizza to me but but that's not really true but my point is this this is why like I said, and I want this message to be heard. This is why white people treat blacks the way they do. This is why the rest of the people treat blacks the way they do. This is why police treat you the way that you do, because you don't have respect for each other. You don't have respect for other people or yourself. Because if you did have respect for yourself, you wouldn't be, you know, concealing your arms with tattoos. You wouldn't be, you know, smoking drugs. You wouldn't be you know, doing things illegal to to, um, to lose your privilege um, of freedom. You wouldn't do things like that. And, you know, I don't, like I said, if you look at my old channel, I, I make this very clear. I've been thinking like this for almost two years now. I don't believe in the concept of racism anymore. It doesn't exist. And how I know it doesn't exist? Because why is it every time something good occurs in my life, it, ha it happens to be from someone that doesn't look like me. But everything bad that occurs in my life, whether it be getting robbed, getting almost killed, getting attacked, um, somebody trying to, you know, do some real dirty stuff to me, it's always someone that looks like me. And this is why, you know, for the most part, for the for the majority, I, I I just stay away from the most for, for the most part. I do. I don't really think it's nothing positive hanging around black people at all. There's nothing positive that comes from it. If I want to, now, if I don't have no regard for my life and I want to do drugs, I want to live a life of crime, I want to, um, you know, start a rap career, yeah, then I'll hang around black people all day. But I don't want that. I, I want to eventually, you know, get back into school. I want to eventually make something of myself because I'm obviously, you know, just working a job. It's, it's just so basic. Yeah, the average black person will say how oh man at least you working people didn't die well they didn't die but people didn't march in the street and do all this work just for us to just work jobs you know i'm pretty sure they wanted more like out of us they didn't want us just to, just to work manual labor jobs they wanted us to educate ourselves they wanted us to go to school they wanted us to you know get an education and you know just working a job that's just like What's the point of of really um, like doing all that like all that um, all that marching, all that protesting, you know, to get into like the best schools and the and and the seg into um, desegregate colleges if you're not going to take advantage of education and study something that has a purpose, not study something like sociology or, or African American studies, but um, kind of like all over the place with this video. My my more my point of the story is this. I have a lot of prejudice against black people and others, and I'll go um, in detail in a, in a video for um, that another time. But the reason why I do, it's not because of the color of someone's skin, it's the content of their character. And when you understand that people don't hate you because of the way you look, it's the way you act. But I, I do question, why would you put yourself on the line in dealing with these kind of people? Like, I'm, I'm really referring to people that own stores and businesses. Like, why do you set up neighbor, like shops in those communities? Okay, I get you. you. You want money. You want to get rich. But there are other ways to make money, you know? You don't have to put your life on the line in the process. But, and I'm, I'm really referring to two, um, cops as well. Like, why would you want to, like, you know serve a community where you know it's shootings and killings every day i like i'm at the point where i'm kind of like just let them kill each other just 
you know, keep that, you know, where you live. Don't bring it to, you know, where I where I where I reside at. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna park. And I'm gonna enjoy my pizza.